NASA has just announced the discovery of a planet they are calling the New Earth. The new planet is located in the habitable zone of its solar system, which means that it's neither too hot or too cold to support life. Its official name is LHS 1140b and is about 1.2 times the size of Earth. This Earth-like exoplanet is rocky in composition and takes around 24 days to orbit its host star and is at least 5 billion years old. According to formation models, the planet also contains about 4% of water, suggesting it could be an ocean world. Who knows what could be lurking in these alien waters? Its host star is a red dwarf, which is known for its high solar flare output, which may reduce the likelihood of life on these super-Earths. However, red dwarfs are long-lived and are estimated to shine bright for trillions of years. This gives plenty of time for evolution to work its magic. And who knows? Perhaps some form of intelligent alien life may have already evolved on this new Earth. In the couple of years that we've been monitoring LHS 1440, it appears to be inactive when it comes to solar flares, which increases the likelihood of life forming. This is what makes this super Earth special. For example, the TRAPPIST-1 system, which also features a red dwarf as its host star, has a very high output of solar activity, possibly dissipating all life-sustaining atmospheres. There is still much that we don't know about LHS 1140b, such as the composition of its atmosphere. However, it's possible that Earth-like conditions exist on this planet, making it very interesting. This planet may be a good candidate for the James Webb Space Telescope to point its massive mirrors at it to study its atmosphere and see what it's made of. Just recently, the JWST discovered carbon dioxide on a hot, gaseous planet called WASP-39b floating around 700 light years away. This is the first clear evidence of carbon dioxide found using Webb's instruments. While there is no life on this planet, as it is about 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit or 900 degrees Celsius, carbon dioxide is needed for life as we know it. It is a key component to the photosynthesis process that helps plants convert sunlight into chemical energy. Carbon dioxide is also necessary for the respiration process that helps animals convert food into energy. If we were to find carbon dioxide on an exoplanet, it would be a strong indication that the planet could support life. This information could help us determine if the planet is habitable and is a good candidate for further study. While unlikely, there is the possibility that life could be different on these exoplanets and form in a way that is different from how we think it forms. While we haven't found any life on LHS 1140b yet, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It's possible that there are extreme life forms on Earth that we don't even know about. In fact, there are some pretty weird creatures that live in some of the most extreme environments on our planet. For example, there is a type of tardigrade that can survive in conditions that would kill most other life forms. Tardigrades are tiny creatures that can survive without food or water for up to 30 years. They can also survive temperatures from negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit to 304 degrees Fahrenheit and exposure to radiation up to 6,000 times the amount that would kill a human. These creatures are amazing and show just how tough life can be. It's possible that we may find similar life forms on other exoplanets, but we won't know until we study them further. The LHS 1140b seems to be a more promising exoplanet than Proxima b or Trappist-1, and it's only 39 light years away. While this is an extremely far distance, who knows what the future holds for space travel and technology? It was only a little over 100 years ago that humans first flew a plane. Now we have rockets that can fly to space and land back on Earth. While we are on the topic of studying stuff further, NASA has just released some pretty shocking news that Saturn is losing its famous rings. Click on the video on the screen now to have a look at what is happening to the ring planet and what NASA is doing about it. Thanks for watching.